Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash hookah anonymous underscore. You guys have been telling us to create one for the longest, so we recently created a community where we will upload videos that we can't share on YouTube due to their guidelines We'll also be dropping the latest to their first behind the scenes information that you wouldn't find anywhere else on our socials. So make sure you become a member. And after you do that, head over to our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore and follow us there. Now, without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, as sad it is to bring this type of news to y'all, we got to say rest in peace to bloodhound little Jeff. Reports are saying that he was shot and unalived. And according to Spot News, it will say, quote, male shot in unalive 6649 S. Rhodes. Uh, the victim is a John Doe. He sustained a gunshot wound to the chest and was pronounced at UFC. The crime scene consists of a crash Hyundai Santa Fe and about 45 shell casings, which tells us that nine times out of 10, he was probably being chased and they were shooting from him in the drive by type of scenery or whatever the case may be. And you know what? Here's the thing, right? I definitely wasn't going to do no video today, but I definitely had to do a video based on this because we said in the video that we did cover in Bloodhound Lil Jeff before this, he has to be more careful. I don't know what these guys are thinking. I guess because a lot of these guys are from the new generation. They think that it's 2011, 2012 all over again. And this video is not to bash them. But for the younger guys coming up, please, please take heed to the examples that you get to see right in front of your face. Because as quick as we've seen him come up, we've seen him fall within weeks, right? The man went viral and it's almost like as soon as he went viral, now that's it. And here's the thing, right? I'm not gonna say who he was beefing with and because y'all seen all the videos, y'all seen the videos of guys going to his block, spinning his block and his hood or whatever the case may be. Here's what, here's what I'm gonna tell y'all, right? Cause first he went viral for the whole situation where um, he was sniffing, you know what, on DJ UTV. Um, I don't know if they thought it was cool, but at the end of the day, if these guys got the beef that they got outside, doing these type of drugs and doing the things that they're doing, being off point, is not the right thing to do. Now, first and foremost, let's get into the people that was around this man, because you know what's going to happen, and this is how the cycle of violence just continue to keep on happening. The people that was around him, that seen him crashing out, that seen him sniffing drugs and doing it and thinking it was okay, these are the same people that's going to say, rest in peace. These are the same people that's going to be around saying, oh, we shouldn't have went down like that. And what happens is now they're going to go try to spin and get, get back and the cycle of violence just continued to keep on happening when it could all be prevented. Now, keep in mind, this is the same guy that was going around dissing everybody, making threats, death threats, going around. It's almost like you're asking for a certain energy. And when it comes to you, it comes to you. It's almost, it's no surprise. It's unfortunate, but when you're dissing and you're bringing that energy towards yourself, what do you expect to come to you when that's all you are attracting? It's so bad. It was to the point to where people say he was going to either unalive himself or get unalive or go to jail. Right? Because that's the energy you're bringing towards yourself. And unfortunately, he met his demise. And for the young guys coming up, let me tell y'all, man, for everybody that feels that they bad or they got a team around them that's bad and can't be touched, just know that there's other guys that feel the same way. Just know that there's other guys that feel just as bad as you are, probably better, or willing to risk it more than you are. 
And also realize that anybody could be touched. Nobody is exempt from being touched. I don't care who you are. You got real hitmen, mafia hitmen that done caught a bunch of bodies and they got taken out the same way. And when you throw in drugs and all type of stuff in the mix, you're making yourself more vulnerable when you're out there, knowing you got them type of problems. Now, it's unfortunate because Lil Jeffy actually had a buzz. As y'all know, he linked up with um, G Herbo. They had a song together. And he just had a little buzz around him with all the viral stuff that he was doing and it was going around. Um, If he used it in the right way and took that energy and put it in the right direction, he probably would have been out of here. But I guess we wouldn't be able to tell now because of the circumstance. Now, what I want to do is get into a few tweets that I've seen in regards to hearing about little Jeff losing his life. One user would say, quote, damn, just last week, we were just saying he could die because he was strung out on them drugs ish sad then another user would say quote damn i know bro was finna die or go to jail then another user would say quote i dead just found out about bro this morning what the f another user would say quote damn shorty packed up early and the last user would say quote how you die on the block you were sliding on heartbreak emoji now, rest in peace to Bloodhound Little Jeff. A lot of people thought it wasn't true at first because, like I said, it's very shocking. Um, it's like as soon as we heard about Little Jeff, now his demise came. But this is how it goes. And for the people that think it's not real, according to Instagram, he was with a guy by the name of Little Schoon earlier. And um, just to confirm everything, Little Schoon is one of the ones that actually said rest in peace to him as well, and they're close. So at the end of the day, if somebody's close saying it, then actually it just might be true. You know, I know bloggers, a lot of people say, oh, blogs got it wrong. They're misinterpreting it. But that's not the case now. You know, a guy by the name of Lil Schoon, like I said, he's close to him and he was actually with him 24 hours ago. So if he's saying RIP, then it's RIP. Now, another thing before I get out of here, let this be a lesson, y'all, for the guys that's coming up, you know, you rapping. And I get it when you're dissing and it's a lot of controversy and it's a lot of drama. A lot of people tend to gravitate to your music and you go viral. And I think people get stuck in that whole phase because you get stuck in the famous part. You get stuck in always seeing yourself on the media, always seeing yourself and people talking about you. And then when you make a regular song, nobody's talking about you because you're not dissing. So you fall into the trap of where you have to diss just to stay relevant. And I think that was probably one of the cases. He was going viral all the time for dissing but you gotta understand when you do that, it comes with consequences. Yes, it's gonna give you a little fame, it's gonna give you a little viral moment, but at the end of the day, is it really worth it because you always gotta look over your back. And with these guys' lifestyles or the drugs and the stuff they like to do, you can't be out here just slipping, right? So like I said, it's, you know, it's a lot to it, man. Rest in peace to Bloodhound Little Jeff. Um, I don't wish jail or death on nobody, no matter what the circumstance is, it's unfortunate, but it just is what it is, y'all. Hopefully, the younger kids come up, they take heed to this type of stuff, and they see for themselves. You know, in certain ways you go, in certain ways you don't. It just is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.